Hi everyone, this is James Gard. I'm here to give you a new tutorial on UDIMS in 4.26. This is an update, and let's get to it. This is Spider, and he'll be helping us out with a UDIMS. Say hello. How adorable. Let's select him and take a look at his UVs. As you can see, he has about 14 UDIMS. All right, everything's looking pretty good. Let's make sure it's all one material. Looking good. For the sake of this tutorial, I've already imported him. Here he is. He's in Unreal, saying hi once more. First things first, let's make sure our project is set up correctly. So go to Edit, Project Settings. Let's type in Virtual. And let's take a look down here and enable virtual texturing. Make sure we check this and now we have to do a restart. Boop. Let's get a couple of things straight right off the bat. We have to make sure that our textures are named with the UDIM space at the very end. This is perfect. This is wrong. No, 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 no. As you can see, I have all my textures exported from Substance Painter, my color, normal, and packed. Let's go ahead and import those textures now. So right-click, import, let's find the location. Select the first one at each, so that's color, normal, and the packed one. And then you hit open. This is gonna take a moment, so I'm gonna skip. All done. I'm going to save my project, so I'm going to hit Control shift s That saves everything that is has been modified. This takes a little bit. And done. As you can see, all these textures have a little VT logo at the bottom for virtual texturing. Let's open up the packed one. Let's uncheck sRGB because the packed file is not sRGB. It's a linear file. Uh, this takes a moment, so once it's done, hit save. Boop. It may also crash. That's why I had you save as well. Now that's done. Close this out. Now let's start connecting. Let's open up the main material for Spider. Let's go ahead and resize this. Do do. Now let's delete this color because we don't need it anymore. Let's start dragging in the textures. This is the base color. Stick it in. Normal. Stick that into normal. And now the packed one. The packed one, first one, R, is for occlusion, as you can see here if you hover over. So go ahead and connect that to occlusion. Yeah, there it is. Next one is roughness. And the last one is metalness. Boom. Save. And there we go. Let's take a look at that spider now. And now here's Spider with all those UDIMs. Say hi. Oh, this is great. All right, so one last thing I want to note. I opened up another model that uses UDIMs. You can see here on her chest, it's a little choppy, and it's not supposed to look like this. So let's open up the model. Let's type in precision, and let's turn on full precision UVs. So something that goes on in Unreal is that once you get past the zero to one space, the precision of the UVs kind of gets diluted. I don't really understand what this is, but I had to look this up. Um, and here you can see now the chest is fixed. So keep that in mind. If you start seeing some of the textures look a little weird, you need to turn this on. Congratulations, everyone. You know how to do UDIMs in Unreal. That's it for this, and I'll see you guys next time.